This afternoon, we have someone who is hailed as a sporting guru. He transformed the British Olympic cycling team into probably the best sports team in the world. And at Team Sky, his riders have delivered three Tour de France victories in the last four years. Would you please give a warm welcome to Sir Dave Brailsford. You know, I wasn't great at school, but I found my calling, if you like, in sports science, sports nutrition, sport. I loved it all. There was a lot of crossover between the good bits of sport that business could learn from, but there's an awful lot of good practice in business that sports could learn from. 90% of my time is spent thinking about and watching people I've got in the team. And you genuinely get inside their shoes and see the world through their eyes. And can you create an optimal environment where a human being is going to have the best chance of being the best they could possibly be? When we started out, the top of the mountain for us seems so far away. If you just stop for a minute, you say, is there any way that you could progress a little bit from where you are now of course there is, yeah. I could do that a little bit better. I could do this a little bit better. It doesn't matter how small the improvement, we're going to do it. We're going to energise each other and we're going to create a culture which is about this idea of continuous learning, continuous improvement. We differentiate clearly between their dreams, which is what we'd like to happen, win the Olympic medal, win the Tour de France, and targets. Targets are the things I can make happen. You can just make small change and be very, very good at delivering those small changes. Emotionally, it's very, very difficult not to think about the consequence of what we're about to do. I don't want to make a fool of myself. I don't want to look stupid. All of those emotions can hijack you right at the moment where you don't want it to happen. So forget the result. If you're worried about the bearing of the result, the chance of you performing well in that particular moment, that particular day, is reduced. The whole notion of there's no I in team, and I, I must say I don't buy it. Whether we know it or not, we're kind of making a calculation, what's in this for me? So what I work very hard on is I look at each individual and I try and figure out what's in it for them. If you can align what they're doing with a group of other people behind the goal, then you're in business. And it doesn't matter whether they get on or not. I absolutely and utterly believe in giving people as much ownership as possible. For me, human beings, we like to have an influence of, over what we do and how we do it. The people who I see being successful, the doers, they get shit done. You can walk a thousand miles, you can only do it a step at a time. But it doesn't take long before you've done quite a few steps. Yeah. If you go after all of these incremental gains, aggregating them together, we were capable of getting better. It was something that we could believe in and we could achieve. <laughs>